What do you get when you combine chili fall nights with busy fall nights? That's right, crock pot meals. I have three brand new crock pot meals to share with y'all today and I cannot wait to share them. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our chuck roast and I'm gonna place it in our skillet. And this recipe actually says to quarter your chuck roast. And I think that's just so you can have more of the little brown bits on your chuck roast. Basically, more surface area for that. I'm just gonna brown up this chuck roast on all four sides of my pieces here. I also like to season pretty good with salt and pepper as I have it all browning up. All right, y'all, so our roast is nice and seared on all sides. I just have my slow cooker over here, right beside the stove, and we're gonna get it down in here. Next to a medium bowl, we're gonna add about one cup of chopped carrots. I just had some baby carrots I decided to use. We're also gonna add one cup of chopped celery, one cup of chopped onion, also to this bowl, we're gonna add one 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. One six ounce can of tomato paste. I'm also adding two and a half cups of beef broth. We're adding half a teaspoon of dried thyme. Also half a teaspoon of dried oregano. We're also gonna add three bay leaves. One teaspoon of sugar, just to kind of balance out that acidity a little bit and then about three or four minced garlic cloves. Now I'm just gonna gently stir everything around, get everything combined in here. All those good veggies and seasonings, tomato sauce, this is gonna be so good. It already smells delicious and it's not even cooked yet. All right, next I'm gonna bring back over our roast and I'm gonna carefully just pour this sauce all over the roast. Kinda give everything a little shake, shake it on down in there. I have my lid here, I'm gonna pop that on, and I'm gonna cook this on low about eight hours. My house is gonna be smelling so good, I'm gonna be starving while I'm cleaning y'all. But eight hours, and I'll check back in with you. After eight hours, I just pulled my beef out of the crock pot, and you can see how tender and how flavorful it looks. That sauce just cooked all over it all day, got all those flavors in there, and I just shredded this up super easily with two forks. Also, as I shredded everything, I went ahead and just kind of picked out the larger pieces of fat that kind of got cooked in there with it, because we don't really want to bite into that. Also, I really wanted my sauce to be a little bit on the thicker side, so I did make a cornstarch slurry to pour in mine, and that did the trick. It was the perfect consistency I was looking for. Next, I just brought back over that shredded roast, put that back in the slow cooker along with that sauce and gave everything a nice stir. And you can already see how delicious that looks. Oh my gosh, it was so good, y'all. But then while that was just kind of warming through over on the side, I'm gonna cook up our pasta. I decided to use this kind. It's what the recipe I was following recommended and it could not have been better. That pasta tasted so fresh along with that sauce, added a little bit of fresh Parmesan cheese and this was delicious. This is a must try. You and your family are gonna love this one. This is a perfect fall comfort food meal. Also, I'm excited to be collabing with my friend Tiffany today. Her channel is Small Town Six. I've collabed with her in the past, but it's been a good little bit. So if you're not familiar with Tiffany's channel, make sure you head over there when you're done with today's video. She's also gonna be making some slow cooker recipes. So I know they're gonna be good. I can't wait to see what she is cooking up over there. But she also shares all sorts of cooking videos, recipes, grocery hauls, stockpiling, kind of prepping videos. Y'all are gonna love her. So like I said, if you're not familiar, I'm gonna have all of her information down below in my description box. Make sure you go and give her some love when you're done and tell her that Jen sent you. All right, next up y'all, we have pasta fagioli. And I know I'm probably not saying that right, and I gotta be real with y'all, I ain't never even had this at Olive Garden, but I made it and it was delicious, so y'all are gonna like this. So first, I just browned up one pound of ground beef, drained that, threw it in my slow cooker, along with one can of mild rotel, one can of drained and rinsed pintos, 
one can of drain and rinse kidney beans, and then I had some celery, carrot, and onion that I just diced up. I added in my everything seasoning by Auntie Nono's. It's just salt, pepper, garlic, and onion, some Italian seasoning, one jar of spaghetti sauce. We love Rayo's. Gotta shake out that extra sauce in there with a little bit of water, and then three cups of beef broth. And that is pretty much it. This is just gonna cook on high for three to four hours, low five to six, get all these good flavors all married together. And then at the very end, I just left mine on high and you're gonna add one cup of this Ditalini pasta or any pasta that you want, but this pasta is so good in here. It's so tiny, so it only takes a little bit of time to cook. So you're just gonna pour that in another 30 minutes and your dinner is done. I just served ours with some cheese toast. You could also do breadsticks like Olive Garden. And y'all, I cannot get over how good this was. This is definitely going into our rotation for fall and winter just because it's delicious and it was so easy and so comforting too. This one is a must try. This next recipe really intrigued me with its ingredients, and I have to say, spoiler alert, we did love it. So you're actually gonna start in a saucepan. You're gonna add some garlic, some butter, a little bit of chicken broth, some heavy cream, and then some Parmesan cheese. This reminded me a lot of my Alfredo sauce, also cream cheese. But yes, this reminds me a lot of my homemade Alfredo sauce, with the addition of the chicken broth. That just kind, kind of thinned it out a little bit. But that's gonna go into the crock pot with these pork chops and potatoes and mushrooms and onions, y'all, so good. So now you can see I'm just searing my pork chops just a couple minutes on both sides with some olive oil and some seasoning just to get those little brown bits of flavor on there. Next, I'm just adding about one and a half pounds of yellow potatoes to my slow cooker, and then I'm gonna bring back over those brown pork chops and just place those right on top of there. Then we're gonna move back to the stove really quick. I have some mushrooms and onions, and we're just gonna get some color on these again in that same skillet that we browned our pork chops. You can probably skip this step, but I think it just adds a little bit more flavor. I say don't skip it, y'all. Added a couple pats of butter, added a little bit of chicken broth just to kind of deglaze my pan. Didn't want to leave any of those brown flavor bits behind. These will only take a couple minutes. Then we're gonna bring those back over to our slow cooker, dump those on top of our pork chops and potatoes. And then we're gonna bring over that creamy garlic sauce. We're gonna pour that over everything. And y'all, don't this look so good already? So this is gonna cook on low six to eight hours. You can also do high three to four. So now time to plate it up. I just kind of scooped the potatoes up first, put our pork chop on top, and this recipe recommended to top with a little Parmesan cheese and some red pepper flakes. So that's what I did. And these pork chops were so tender. It was so good with these potatoes and mushrooms. Something a little bit different, and I have to say we all love this one as well. Y'all make sure to give it a try. If you love slow cooker recipes or just easy recipes in general, I have two recipes right here on the screen that I think you're really gonna love. So you can go check those out next. Also, subscribe before you go, and don't forget to go over there and check out Tiffany's channel. I hope you guys are all doing amazing, and I'll see y'all real soon in my next one. Bye, y'all.